Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever you're watching this video. This is the lady herself, Miss C. Temptation, coming at you again with an updated breaking news commentary of Chicago Talk. I wanted to begin this video by saying namaste, peace be on to you and everybody that's watching this video, and happy terrific Tuesday to everybody. Now, first, before I go on with the commentary, first I want to give a big time shout out to Planet Fitness for them welcoming me with open arms. I mean, guys, you need to check them out because those people are amazing. The facility is amazing. And if you get a black card, as far as purchase a black card membership, you'll be entitled to different perks, including uh, a hydro massage. And that hydro massage is absolutely amazing. That will make you feel like a million bucks. And if you're going through any type of stressful issues in your life, that machine will take all the stress off of you. So big time shout out though to Planet Fitness though if they're watching this video. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, on to the main um, piece of news that I want to drop. This is breaking news. It was reported today, R. Kelly and his defense team went to court and he was denied bail and he will maintain in custody until further notice. Now, this is what really gets to me a couple of things. Now, starting with R. Kelly. Now, his defense team sat up there and told the prosecution, okay, that they didn't have enough substantial evidence to convict him. But this is my question. How in the blue hell can you sit up here and convince say that you don't have enough evidence and they have, they have 20 videos that were submitted to the federal agents by his formal entourage team? Not only that, though, but they sat up there and played three of the videos. Now, if that's not enough evidence to hold you in prison, I don't know what the hell else to tell you. I mean, come on now, let's keep the shit real now. I mean, R. Kelly is trying to come through and try to come up with every excuse to try to get his ass out of jail. But guess what? The truth has came to the light and he is out of there because they consider him as a threat and a danger to the community. He is, he is, a, dang, he is dangerous to children. You know, many children that he sexually abused, you know, and not to mention all the other charges like obstruction of justice and all this other shit. And let me drop this other news on you, ladies and gentlemen, that I found out that I read myself directly. Now, in terms of his, his uh, sentencing in prison, R. Kelly is facing possible 10 years in Illinois, plus the maximum of 196 years, and not to mention 80 years of racketeering charges in the state of New York. Now, let me go on to the next phase. Let me talk about his two girlfriends, that Jocelyn Savage and that other chick. Now, it was reported, allegedly, on TMZ that they claim they have not got evicted out of the Trump Towers. Now, they stated in court, though, with um, the, um, the defense lawyer for R. Kelly, his lawyer stated that his rent was paid up up until between December and January of 2020. Now, that may be true. Now, my question is this. If they claim that they're living all happy and go lucky and free and all this bullshit, now, I have talked to some law officials myself, myself. If they're so high, lucky, and free, now, my understanding was, and I did research this on my own, that when you're talking about federal, a federal case and federal charges, not only are they coming for your ass to arrest you, but they're going to seize all your assets, including where you live at, down to your bank accounts. Your bank accounts will be frozen. And see, a lot of people don't understand is this, especially our people, you don't know the system. You don't know the law. And so unless you've done research and read up on it and didn't study this, you don't know. You really don't know. You're hoping for the best, which I do too. But let's be real. The man is not going anywhere. He is considered as a sex offender, and the man is going to be punished. Now, he should have learned his lesson from 2008, when he, the first time he went through this, when he got acquitted, he should have learned his lesson right there and said, look, I need to get my act together and stop all of this, though. But he didn't do that. He kept on doing what he's doing until the shit caught up with him. Now that karma's there to bite him in the ass, and I look at it like this. The man has made his own bed. Now guess what? The bitch has got the lie in it. So, I mean, I don't feel sorry for him because, I mean, it's, it's a sad situation. Don't get me wrong. It is a sad situation, okay? But 
you know, because of these mental issues that he was going through and all the stuff that he was doing, I don't feel sorry for him because he should have got help a long time ago. Some of those people should have reached out and, and pulled him to the side and said, hey, you need to chill on this because it's not right. What you're doing is illegal and you're going to get in trouble for this. And I mean, and we're talking about 30 year history of him doing this, going to these schools, picking up girls, going to the malls, found out that he even went to Evergreen Plaza in Chicago trying to rap the girls and try to give him his number and try to get at him and all that. So hell yeah, I don't feel sorry for him as far as all the chick that he done. He needs to be shut down. You know, as far as his little girlfriends, uh, Jocelyn Savage, you know, let me tell you something. You only thinking about forest for the present. You need to think outside the box. You need to think ahead, though, because you don't have a job. You know, you may have some money that you got from R. Kelly, but my thing is this: that money is not going to last long. You need to think about your future and do what you got to do so you can be able to move on, though. And for God's sakes, try to get in touch with your parents, though, because even though you keep saying all this bullshit about, oh, they know where I'm at. God damn it, you need to call your parents. You know, and let them know that you are right or whatever issues that you're going through and cut out all these lies because you're telling us on TMZ, allegedly, that you're still at the Trump Towers. But me personally, I don't believe it. I think it's a bunch of bullshit. You know, because I think what's going on right now and from what I read, though, that those two girls are staying with an undisclosed area where R. Kelly's people and they're trying to um, they're trying to rehearse them to make them say what they're going to say at the press conference. And R. Kelly probably already instructed his people and say, well, hey, if they say this or if they say this the wrong way, beat the shit out of them. I'd be willing to bet you that's what's going to go down. I'd be willing to bet you five dollars to a bald headed bitch. That's how it's going to go down. So, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Please leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about this piece of breaking news. And the main thing is to share and subscribe. Share and subscribe. You know, because, baby, like I said, I got to bring the truth. You know, I ain't, you know, I ain't no liar. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to say what I want to say. Because, you know, my phrase is this. If it ain't right, it's not real. So, that's all I got to say. So, drop your comments. I'm about to get ready to sign out. So, guys, I want to say that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So, guys, until the next video, I'm going to go ahead and drop the mic. Have a wonderful Tuesday evening. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Take care of yourself. Love yourself and love each other. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.